I want you to turn to me, with me to one last scripture. This one is actually in the book of Revelation. And we'll begin to close. There was a little boy turned to his dad and says, what's the preacher man mean when he says we're going to begin to close? And dad looked at him and said, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Chapter 3 of Revelation, book, verse 19. This is Jesus speaking. It, the words in red. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. See, he wants you to change. He knows that he has to begin working. See, he doesn't condemn you, but he does convict you. He lets you know that there's some issues in your life that you need to turn over to him. He says, I rebuke and I chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Now, for years, I had the wrong idea what repent meant. I thought that when I told my wife I was sorry for going out and getting drunk, that that was repentance. That's not repentance. Repentance means to turn 180 degrees and walk the other direction. When I learned that I could stop doing the things that I thought I had to do and turn and walk in the other direction, then God would change my life. Behold, this is Jesus speaking again, and this is him speaking to you in this place today. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. See, it's not only that we ask, but God's standing there. He's knocking on your door. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. God wants to come into your life in a life changing way not just on Sunday morning but on Monday afternoon with that neighbor that's giving you a hard time with that boss that just seems so ungodly God wants to show you how to let love work in your life in such a way that it will affect other folks and it does I could stand here and tell you story after story where when I heard God tell me uh, one way uh, as opposed to the way I've always done it. When I did it God's way, it worked every single time. You know, when somebody yells at you and gets in your face, or when somebody does something in directly to hurt you, our natural, natural reaction as a human being is to reach out and touch someone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we want to strike them back. I mean, that's, it's just who we are. But guess what? God says to love those that would hurt you. To, you know, I, I remember a time having a stepchild and a teenage stepchild, and I'll tell this one story, but I, me and him was, you know, button heads all the time. I was in love with God. We were going to church, but buddy, every time we, we were always fighting and we were on our way to church. Now, you know what happens, you know, you, you come, especially with a big church where they got parking attendants and stuff, and you're fighting all the way to church. You're screaming at each other, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come into the parking lot and all of a sudden you got a smile on your face and everything's fine. Well, I mean, we were both hot. We weren't saying anything else. And he got to the front door of the church and he's a big old boy now, <laughs> a whole lot bigger than I was. And, and God just told me to go up and hug him. And he wasn't expecting, he thought I was going to hit him. <laughs> he really did. And I just grabbed him around the chest and, and just gave him a big old hug and told him I loved him. And God just, we both broke out laughing. <laughs> it was just a God moment where God said, do it my way and it'll work. I challenge you, God, do it God's way. Do, it what, do what these words in red say. When you come across something, you say, well, I don't see how that works. Don't try to figure it out. Put it to the side and keep going. And you'll come back to it at another time when you're ready. You know, I can't say that I can read all of this book right this minute and know, you know what it all means. I have no idea. I've got some idea. I've got a lot better idea today than when I began. You have to start this journey. You have to begin this spiritual walk one day at a time, one step at a time. If you're in this room today, don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I challenge you to 
and come to know him personally. I would like everyone in the room to stand with me, please. With every head bowed and every eye closed, if you're in this room and you don't know him as Lord and Savior, I want to challenge you to accept him today. But there's some of you that may be in here and say, I've been a Christian for a long time, but I'm just, I'm struggling. And I, it's just like, it's, it's not there. I need help. If you need a spiritual boost, if you need spiritual walk in your life, I challenge you to reach out and touch him. Pastor's getting ready to go to church to go through this fast. I challenge you. Fasting will change your life. Take a, take a walk on, on that side and try it and see what happens in your life. If you don't know Jesus or if you want to come back to him, you've been running for a long time, I, with every head bowed and every eye closed, I just want you to raise your hand. I'm not going to call you up. I just want you to raise your hand right where you're at. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would everyone in here repeat after me? We're all going to pray this prayer together. Dear Jesus, come into my life. Change my heart. Save me. Teach me how to live a life that only you could give. Come into my life. Forgive me of sin. Jesus, I give it to you now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. Father, we just praise and bless you. God, I thank you for this wonderful group of people. And Lord, as your time begins in this church for the new year, the year 2009, I pray blessings upon your people. God, that those that are needing a financial help would find that financial help. That are seeking relationship help, that they would receive that help. God, those that don't know where they're supposed to be plugged in, that they would hear from the voice of God on where they're supposed to be plugged in into this church. God, we thank you that you are blessing this church mightily, and we ask you to bless each individual, and we go forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.